a typical grey day in China's industrial heartland. The rampant growth that has made the country the world's second largest economy and on track to become the biggest in only a decade comes at a price as it pumps out pollution on a staggering scale. It's unprecedented in the scale of what's needed. Of course, the alternative is, is too frightening to think about. What we need to be able to do is to look at the objectives of avoiding dangerous climate change and put in place the policies that fairly and adequately address the problem. Yet China is already leading the charge in renewable energy, with the government throwing its weight behind green energy projects. China has made a, a decision at a very high level that clean energy is the future. They're already uh, you know, poised to be uh, the number one maker of solar cells, the number one manufacturer of wind turbines. Uh, they're already the number one makers of solar hot water heaters and they want to be the leader in, in, in electric cars and batteries. So yeah, the, the game is on, absolutely. One example is Rajao in northern Shandong province, which receives more than 300 days of sunshine a year. And this small city of 3 million is turning this free energy source to its advantage. Here, 90% of urban houses have solar thermal units to heat their water. Green jobs are flourishing in Rajao due to government legislation and the market for solar thermal heaters is on the rise. Since 1995, we sold several hundred solar panels and gradually sales were increasing. By 2000, sales reached more than 10,000 a year. Now it's around several hundred thousand. The Shanshui Grand Hotel has one of the biggest solar thermal systems in the city. Its laundry room uses water heated, mainly by the sun, washing 800 items every day. Every year we save $24,000. That means we can get back the money we invested within three years. And now it's really advantageous and saved so much energy and reduced emissions a lot. In Rajao, this isn't just about saving money, it's helping China as a whole cut its energy bills. A normal family, solar panel can save around 200 kilograms of coal per annum. According to our rough estimate, the whole city can save roughly 25,000 tons of coal a year. It helps the city to save a lot of energy. Nor is the city an isolated example. 300 kilometers south of Beijing is the city of Dezhou, which has really taken solar power to heart. 70% of the city is powered by the sun. It boasts the world's longest street lit by photovoltaics, the largest solar powered building in the world, and is home to the largest maker of solar water heaters, Haimin. This sun and moon mansion indicate my dreams uh, to promote uh, solar energy into all the buildings of the world. And he is well on the way to achieving that dream. His firm employs 60,000 people and sells 300 million square meters of solar heaters every year. Costing less than $300, the heaters are springing up on the rooftops all over China. Traditional fossil fuel energy will be exhausted very soon. So this hotel is using solar water heaters, which saves about 50% energy. It is clean and will help solve the problems of the environment. It will improve the climate greatly. And the man known in China as the Solar King is almost evangelical about the potential of solar power. We want to tell the world that the green energy will not only benefit be benefit to the, the, the environment, benefit to, to our uh, energy uh, supply, but to also benefit to our lifestyle. A lifestyle that is changing forever as the Chinese move in their millions from the country to the cities, grow richer and consume more, putting more pressure on an already resource-stretched planet. But China is making more impressive headway than many other countries, meaning it could become the world's first green superpower.